So welcome back to our newest interview series on the Queen Sports Network, Inside the Lions In. I am Maya Forbes here with Nick Clive from the track and, men's track and field team. How are you doing today? I'm really good. How are you doing? I'm good. So we're just going to get right into the questions. Um, so tell me about how you've been and transitioning to an online semester. Um, well, I mean, we already had a little bit of an online semester in a little bit of March and April. Um, so it's it hasn't been that big of a difference. Um, but definitely a challenge that, that I saw is um, just practicing, uh, practicing studying on my own. Um, because usually I just meet up with friends in the library, which is not possible anymore. Um, so right now I, I try to meet up with friends via Ring Central and just um, and just do that. And that that's very helpful just to have someone to, to study with. Okay, that's good. So talk to me a little bit about um, yourself and how you started to get involved with track and field. Was there anybody that inspired you to start or do you have any a story for that? Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, I started, I mean, basically every kid in Germany does some sport, you know? I mean, it's the same as in the US, everybody has some hobbies. So my brother started with track when I was, I guess, six or seven and he was nine or 10. Hmm. And um, well, then I was a little jealous that he was doing track and I didn't. So I started doing track as well and um, started being, I mean, successful in like my region, you know, just like in, in my city. And I thought that's pretty good. And um, so I just kept doing it and um, yeah, did it more, more or less when I was 15. And then when I, when I was like 16, I really started loving it, loving it again. And I really started focusing on doing track. Mm, that's nice. Um, okay, so I know that you're in Germany right now. So can you tell me about how training for you has been over there? Has it been difficult with the lockdowns and quarantine? Um, it has been a huge challenge in, in April um, because I also had a huge lack of motivation just because you don't really know what you're practicing okay. for. Um, it changed a little bit over the summer when we went out of the lockdown and we actually had competitions in Germany, which was really nice just to, to meet up with people again and, and just, yeah, race again. And um, this, this winter or this fall semester, um, I have been practicing on my old high school track okay. um, in the morning. So I, I couldn't practice with my old high school team, unfortunately, because they're practicing in the afternoons and I have class in the afternoons because of the time difference mm -hmm. um so yeah i'm just i'm just practicing there um currently we're in lockdown again since the beginning of november so i'm at home and running on the street um grab some weights from from the gym and um trying to stuff with that and also um yeah try to do body weight mm -hmm. exercise like i mean push-ups and stuff yeah there's only so much you can do yeah so you don't you didn't have any access to any gyms or anything to weight lift or anything? I had. I had until end of October. Um so I was I was in the gym at my old high school track. Mm -hmm. Um because they like remade that gym uh in two thousand seventeen or so. Mm -hmm. So we actually have really nice weights there. And then I talked to my coach and I was like, Hey, can I just grab some weights over the lockdown? Because basically no one really needs it there. So um grabbed a couple of pounds and um yeah, a squat rack and stuff, just mm -hmm. so I can do stuff, yeah. How has it been being away from your team? Um, it's been weird. Um, I try to, to keep up with, with uh, most of the guys, and um, it's really nice when you, when you actually call someone and just catch up on, like, you know, two months of, of not seeing them. Um, it's, yeah, it's really weird. Um, but it's also really interesting. We just started having regular um, team meetings again. Okay. And it's just so, so nice to see all these faces again. Um, because usually we only have that big of a break during the summer. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's nice to, to see um, everyone again. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> um, so your season was cut short last semester, was it not? Yes. Okay. So how did it feel to have your season cut short? Um, because you guys were doing pretty well. Like you won second place in the 400 meter event that you were a part of in, in the SAC championships last semester. So mm -hmm. how did it feel to have that season be cut short for you? Um, well, for, for the 400, it wasn't too big of a deal. Um, 
the issue was that in my first year at Queens, I was doing really good in the 400. And you know, it was just, um, for me, it was unexpe un unexpectedly going well. Mm -hmm. And so I was really motivated to go outdoors and outdoors, I only had bad races. So for the next season, I was like, okay, you're really gonna hit it off. And um, I ran good 400 meter races, um, ran a new indoor PR. And then again, I was not allowed to, to practice outdoors or like to, to run outdoors. Um, and I had a really good heptathlon because I'm usually a decathlete. Like I'm not, um, I'm a 400 meter runner as well, but that's just one of the events that I do. Um, and I had a really good heptathlon, which is um, what decathletes do in, um, on an indoor track. And um, I just had a really good heptathlon and I was super pumped up to, to get a good decathlon outdoors then because um, the events are, are like basically the same. Um, and then, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to actually show what, yeah. yeah, what I'm capable of doing. So how do you feel that that season being cut short for you, how do you feel that that will impact how you perform in this upcoming season? Oof, that's a good question. <laughs> um, not so much about the last season, I would say. Um, I'm still very hungry for, for what's going on. Um, in my freshman year, I think usually that's that's what freshmen have, just this hunger to to show what they can do. So I was really motivated to just show also my coach of what I'm what I'm capable of doing, and I didn't have that my sophomore year, but I gained it back now. Um, so I'm I'm very excited to actually go run again. Um, I think the the bigger challenge was really to to practice alone, and since we have such a run based practice where we basically run every day. Um, it's hard to do to do like hard lactic acid runs on your own. Mm -hmm. You just, even if you want to, you just can't go that far into the lactic acid as as you would with a team. Okay. So, do you have any specific team goals that you and your team have talked about? Because I know you were saying you are having like weekly meetings and you're starting to get back together online. Do you have any collective goals for this upcoming season? Um, we talked about it a little bit in the middle of the semester with the with the man's team um, about like what our personal goals are. Obviously in track, it's very easy to have personal goals. Um, I wrote all my goals down for the upcoming season just to have something to to look forward to and um, yeah, just to, to challenge myself. Um, especially for myself, I made myself the goal that I want to become a better athlete than I was before. Um, it's like every every year it's, um, yeah, it's, it's to challenge yourself. And I also think it's not, about like how how good you are compared to another person, but how much can you get out of yourself? Um, that's actually something that my like my coach kind of said as well, where it's more about um, if I put everything in and I, I give a hundred percent effort, I can um, I win. You know, even if even if I lose, I still win because I know that I've put in um, yeah all the, all the effort. And for the team, it's going to be interesting, um, especially because. I think all the other teams in the conference were practicing. Yeah. yeah. At least I know from like Coker and Lenore Ryan, um, which are like our and Wingate, which are our biggest competitors mm -hmm. for track, that they have been practicing. Um, and um, yeah, that's that's definitely going to be interesting when we have conference. I think we're not going to have indoor conference, but outdoor. <clears throat> so that's um, yeah, that's going to be very interesting to see how how good we are doing. Um, I know the cross country guys have been staying very active. Yeah. Um, and one, one big challenge that we will have as well is that our um, captain left. Um, he, he um, Kevin Harrison, he actually um, got his undergrad. Okay. And so he's, um, he's doing, he's getting his master's right now. So um, he, yeah, he shaped the team that we have right now in, um, yeah, in a very good way. Um, so it's going to be interesting to, um, yeah, with a, with a new team captain to to see how, how that will go on and if we can um, be the same team or even a better team than we were the year before. Okay. It sounds like some pretty good goals that you guys have, and I'm really excited to see what you guys do for this upcoming semester in your season. So for my last question, I just want to know, what is your favorite food? Oh. <laughs> Um, I don't. It's a hard question. <laughs> I mean, There's so much to choose from. Yeah, there is. There is. Um, 
probably something basic like pizza or stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, I just really like. Um, oh, there's also something. It's called Knödel. It's a German. It's a German food. Um, it can either make can either be made out of old bread or potatoes, and it's so good when you make it mm -hmm. right. And it's like it's like this typical you know Sunday food or uh, holiday food. Um, so that's something that I. I could eat that every day. <laughs> well, thank you for sitting down with me today and talking to me a little bit, little bit about how you've been doing and how you're preparing for your upcoming season. I wish you luck in your new season coming up next semester. And thank you again. Thank you very much.